Hey folks, CA Rachana Ranade here and I welcome you all to a very important video wherein we are going to discuss about top points to consider before buying insurance for your parents. I'm sure many of you might be having questions in your mind that if your parents are aged, can they be covered by an insurance policy? If unfortunately they have a disease, something like a BP or a diabetes, would still insurance companies be okay to cover them? There are a lot of points that we have to understand before we take an insurance for our parents. Exactly that's what we are going to discuss in the entire video. And one more important point is that I'm going to make a very, very special announcement, but at the end of the video. So keep on watching the video till the end. Before we move on, I would want to really thank Mr. Nikhil and Shibani for their amazing comments. And thanks a lot for supporting the channel. Now let's try and understand various scenarios. Assume that these are parents of Mr. X and their age is around 52 years. What do you think? Will they get an insurance? Yes or no? Answer is yes. Ideally, yes, they should get an insurance. Case number two. Atha tenche case pan pandre zale. Case two mode case pandre zale. Okay, anyways. Now they are a little bit more aged. If they are above 65, then the possibility of they getting a comprehensive insurance policy is comparatively less. In simple words, there will be a lot of exclusions here. Possibility number two, majority of the insurance companies saying no to cover them under insurance is going to be a shade higher. Okay. Logic is very simple. As and when we start getting older and older, older, we are susceptible to more diseases. And that is the reason why if you're like 60, 65 or whatever, insurance companies generally may not want to cover you under any specific policy. Okay. Now let's go to a different scenario where unfortunately one of them or both are detected with cancer. Now can they go ahead and buy a separate insurance policy and answer is no. In such a case, insurance companies will generally not give an insurance cover. Again, logic is very simple for that, right? Case number four, let's say uh, they don't have uh, something like cancer, but some other diseases, okay? In that case, insurance companies may give them an insurance. They may cover them, but the possibility that the premium amount might be really high, there may be certain exclusions into this that will happen. I hope all four scenarios are absolutely clear. All right, let's go to the second possibility where Mr. X's parents have now been detected with BP or something like, let's say, diabetes. Now, both decide that anyways, now that we have a pre-existing condition, let's go for buying an insurance policy so that whatever expenses are done, that will be covered by the insurance policy. Will that happen? So for that, let's understand one by one. Number one, will they even get a policy if they are diagnosed with BP or diabetes or the likes of that? Answer is yes. Ideally, they should get an insurance for that. Will the premiums be comparatively higher? Logically, obviously, yes. Number three, will the insurance companies immediately start covering for their expenses right from day one? Answer is ideally no. Why? There is a concept called as waiting period. Now, what is this waiting period? It says that from the day you start your policy till a specific date, we will not cover for your expenses. This waiting period will differ from policy to, po to policy, but something like for BP or diabetes, it could be generally around two to four years. What does it mean? That even if they start there or even if they buy the insurance policy today, for the next two years, the expenses will have to be borne by them Plus, they will have to pay the premium for the insurance policy. I hope this is clear. Then what is the solution? There are two points to be considered here. Number one, try to go for an insurance policy whose waiting period is comparatively less. Number one. Number two, very important, try to get an insurance policy before you are diagnosed with such disease when you are fit and fine. Now, let's go on to the third point, which is about copay clause. So first, let's understand what do we mean by copay? For, for that, let's take a simple example, okay? Assume that this is the bill that you have received from the hospital and assume that that's a 20% copay clause. What does that mean? 20% of this amount will have to be borne by you and 80% will be borne by the hospital. Simple till here. Now, what do you think? Why copayment clause? Why insurance companies might be encouraging people like you and me to take a copayment clause? The reason is very simple. If I have to shell out 20% from my own pocket, will I look at the bill 1000 times and will I cross check every single item so that I don't pay extra from my pocket? This is also beneficial for the insurance company. And that is the reason why to promote copay clauses, many a times insurance companies also offer discounts so that we are lured into this and we take copay clause wala insurance. But wait. If you are talking about taking an insurance policy for your elderly parents and it if it has a copay clause, 
God forbid, but if such a thing happens that your parents are admitted to the hospital, assume that the bill is something like 10 lakh rupees. Now, 20 percent of 10 lakhs is also a huge amount. You'll have to shell out 2 lakh rupees from your pocket. And for that, you might have gotten a discount initially of let's say 5 or 6 thousand rupees in premium. So it doesn't make a lot of sense, right? So what is the thumb rule here? Ideally, if you're taking insurance for your elderly parents, you should not go ahead with a copay clause. But if they are not getting any policy, every single insurer is saying that you have to go for a copay clause, then something is better than nothing. Three points done, two more to go. And I hope by now everyone is like, okay, let me check whether I have a policy for my parents or not. And if you don't have it, I'm sure you might be thinking about finding some solution wherein someone can guide you to choose the right insurance policy for your parents. Solution is very simple. It's Ditto. Ditto is backed by Zeroda and some amazing features of Ditto are that they have a no spam policy. They will help you and choose the right policy and for that they'll give you a free consultation. The call will go to almost 30 minutes wherein their expert advisors will guide you to choose the right policy. If you want you can book a free call with them and also if you want you can just send them a WhatsApp wherein they will get back to you at your preferred time. Just in case if you unfortunately have to claim for the policy then they will also help you they'll have a chat support they'll also have a claim support when you have to make a claim and i hope that solves the entire purpose so if you want to have a call with them if you want to buy the policy through ditto then check out the link in the description box below let's move on to the fourth point which is i feel a very very important point why many a times your employers cover for your insurance and many a times your corporates can also say that if you pay some additional premium, we'll cover your parents as well. Okay. Now, in such a case, majority or I can say a lot of corporate insurance policies will cover for a lot of diseases right from day one. Yes, you heard it right. So basically, there will be many insurance uh, policies which are given for corporates wherein there will be as good as no waiting period for a lot of diseases. Now, why would this happen? reason is very simple. Corporates are like very big clients for insurance companies. So they have to, uh, many a times they do offer some extra benefits for corporates as well, right? So what is your homework? Homework is that you have to check that whether your employer offers any insurance for you, whether your employer has already covered your parents, something like a family floater or not. If not, is there a possibility that you can add up for your parents or not? But still, in spite of all these things, other than your homework, let me give you a word of caution. I believe that everyone should have a separate policy, maybe a basic plan at least for your parents. Reason is very simple. If you quit the job and if your new employer is not offering such benefits, then your parents are elderly. And again, having a new policy at an older age might be a little bit difficult. Now let's move on to the fifth point which covers a lot of additional features that you have to check in your insurance policy. What could they be? Number one, it could be something like a domiciliary care. Now what is this? There could be many insurance policies which cover only inpatient care. Now what do we mean by inpatient care? It means that if the patient is admitted to the hospital, only those expenses will be covered. But in case of very old parents, doctors may say that you go ahead with a domiciliary care. Uh, care means what doctors will say don't admit the patient to the hospital instead of that let him stay at home and do whatever medication and nursing whatever is required at home only so please check that your insurance co policy covers such domiciliary care expenses as well right let's go on to the second one second one is about network hospitals so typically this point comes up when you have opted for a cashless policy insurance companies will have a list of hospitals and if you admit your patient only to either or of these hospitals, then only your cashless claim will be accepted. Okay. So second point is important. Third one is about pre and post coverage. Now, what does this mean? Many a times it could happen that other than your core hospitalization expense, the, the hospitals may tell you to do certain tests before you get admitted. Now, are there, are there going to be certain expenses incurred here as well? Yes. Could they be covered by your policy? Yes. If your policy has pre hospitalization expenses. There could be something like a post-hospitalization expense as well. Something like medication or a physiotherapy treatment or something like that. So if your policy has a post-hospitalization included in it, then these expenses will also be borne by the insurance company. Last one could be something like a daycare treatment. Now what is this? 
there are certain uh, things wherein you need not be admitted to the hospital for more than 24 hours something like a cataract operation or it could be even a chemotherapy where you are admitted and you are discharged within 24 hours so you will get a claim your claim will be settled only if your insurance policy has a day care procedure which is accepted under the policy well i can go on and on and on there could be multiple points which could be additionally covered so i want you all to check your policy if you have any doubts please let me know in the comment section below if i get a lot of doubts i would be more than happy to do a follow up video on this as well and now coming to that part wherein i am like super excited i want to you know spill out everything but i'm going to control my emotions I'm sure everyone knows about our website rachnaranade.com wherein we already have seven courses listed on our website but this time I'm going to come up with two more courses one in English and the other one in Marathi but if you want to know more about these courses I'm going to tell about these courses in detail or a little bit more than what I've told you today on the 25th of January so don't forget to tune in to our YouTube channel and also don't forget to keep on checking our website till then take care Jehan and bye bye